Amen. Let us now hold up our Bibles as we celebrate together in God's Word. For all Scripture is breathed by God and is profitable for teaching, for reproof, for correction, and for training in righteousness. For God sent out the Word to heal and deliver us in salvation. Amen. And please be seated as we prepare ourselves for this morning's Scripture. Today's scripture comes from the book of Acts, chapter 1, verses 6 through 11. So when they had come together, they asked him, Lord, is this the time when you will restore the kingdom to Israel? He replied, it is not for you to know the times or periods that the Father has set by his own authority, but you will receive power when the Holy Spirit comes upon you. And you will be a witness in Jerusalem, in all Judea and Samaria, and to the ends of the earth. When he had said this, as they were watching, he was lifted up, and a cloud took him out of their sight. While he was going, and they were gazing up toward heaven, suddenly two men in white robes stood by them. They said, Men of Galilee, why do you stand looking up toward heaven? This Jesus, who has been taken up from you into heaven, will come in the name of, in the same way as you saw him go into heaven. The word of God for the people of God. Amen. Thanks be to God. Amen. Let us pray. Gracious Lord, we witness your ascension. We look to the heavens. Lord, as your spirit descends, May we receive of your love. Gracious Lord, open our ears, open our hearts to your word. And gracious Lord, I pray that as your spirit descends upon me, you are glorified in spite of my human weakness. We pray all this now in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, Linda. So as we gather today on Memorial Day, I, I think it has different meanings for different people. Would, would you agree? I think, I think it may be different for those who have... Um, who have f family that have been um, tradition in the military in their lives. Um, I think it has different meaning for those who, uh, as this church is mourning the loss today of, um, of Reverend Chanel, uh, those that are taking a moment to reflect upon uh, all of those that have been in, their, in our lives that are no longer here and now in glory. It's, uh, it's a day for us to pause and, and to reflect upon all all the saints in our lives. It's interesting, last night at the dinner, a, a gentleman called me aside and, and started a theological discussion on the word saint. Um, him and his friend were having a, a, a spirited discussion on what the word meant to, to each of them. And one, one person thought it meant, um, which is more traditional, that anyone has gone on to glory, amen, right? That's the saints. That comes more, a lot of times, out of our Catholic tradition, uh, Catholic church traditions. Uh, this, this man was showing about how saints could represent all of us here today, and it was an interesting conversation, nonetheless. Um, as we gather on this day of Memorial Day, I, you should see the title of the sermon, I Have Peace Like a River. I find that when we celebrate uh, today, and a day when we stop and reflect, that it gives us a time to reflect on this statement, I have peace like a river. Um, as I told you, I was going to share uh, the river walk at my, my adventure down in Texas. And I, I felt that the Spirit was leading me to continue to do so. Uh, it I felt like it fit well with our Memorial and Ascension Day service. I want to just continue where, right where Linda was in the scripture. Uh, it just left out the first section. I'm just going to repeat it. But you will receive power when the Holy Spirit has come upon you. That's an interesting word we find there, Power. Uh, we can see that in our culture today that, that with, there is much power that can be wielded through, uh, through different people of authorities. Amen? Like, we can see like power can be, like, it can be a, a, a scary thing, but it can also be a powerful, graceful thing as well. What does it mean to have the power of the Holy Spirit come upon us this day? Uh, for, for me, it means that we're in a deeper fellowship with God, a closer relationship in, with God. And when we're in a deeper relationship with God, we are, are we not in a deeper relationship with those that have gone on to glory? And you will be my witnesses. This falls into our theme of being, um, as we go out and do mission in our community. 
as we are doing mission in this church's lives. We are called to be a witness in Jerusalem, in all of Judea and Samaria, and to all the ends of the earth. So we are continuing. This message that is written in Acts is still relevant for us today, that as we receive of the love of God, we are called to be an extension of that love. When he had said this, they were watching. He was lifted up in a cloud and took him off their sight. Took him out of their sight. And while he was going, they were gazing toward, up towards heaven. Right? That's, the, that's that mountaintop experience. Right? Like, that miracle, that amazement. And I can just picture you know, almost comically all, all these people standing with their mouths open looking it up. Right? Like, you know, like what is that? What is going on here? But what's interesting is they experience this, this miraculous ascension. As they're gazing into heaven, it says, Suddenly two men in white robes stood by them. And they said, Men of Galilee, why do you stand there looking up towards heaven? And it's, a, it's, it's kind of a silly question, right? It's like, didn't you just see Jesus ascend? I mean, why aren't we looking up? Why wouldn't we be looking up? I mean, we're good. Now we're Christians, right? We're good Christians. We're watching Jesus. You know, I often tell the church that when I pray, a lot, most of the time I like to pray like this, right? Like looking up to God, right? Others like to pray this, like this. And in, in, in the early church, they all prayed like this because of the ascension, right? It was fresh on them. But here, nevertheless, you have these men. Why are you looking towards the heaven? Just Jesus who has been taken up, into, and taken up from heaven into heaven will come the same way as you saw him. See, the problem is like, like, why are we always looking up? That, that's a problem that we as Christians can fall into. We, we can be like, man, this is great, this is miraculous, but we have to look down. Okay, I'm going to try to connect this to my, to my little adventure in San Antonio. Um, Mike, you've been to San Antonio. Who, anyone else been to the San Antonio? You've been? You've done the river walk? You've, have you done the river walk? Okay, so I didn't take any pictures of the city in general. I mean, I took pictures of the Alamo and, and a couple of, of missionary churches. But as I found myself in this city, I, I didn't just go around and start and taking pictures. Because it was, it's neat, but it's still a city, right? Now, I find myself when I was on this journey, walking from my hotel to the, uh, different, um, the different venues that I was going to, that I would get a little lost a little bit, and I'd have to reorient myself and, you know, use Google Maps and tell me which direction to go. Um, I kept trying to find this CVS. It was driving me crazy. It said CVS entrance at the Riverwalk. And I'm like, well, where the heck's the Riverwalk, right? So I'm looking as I'm in the city. I don't know about you, but most of the time when I'm in the city, I look up, right? Like you look at the big buildings. There's some magnificent, you know, your head's looking up. But it says enter at the Riverwalk. And I'm like, well, I couldn't find the CVS. It drove me crazy. So I'd go through and I'd take, like, you know, you have your little tourist trap stuff and you have your little stores. And, but it was basically just a city. Well, all of a sudden, I decided to be a couple days in. Takes me a while, right? A little adventurous. And so I decided to figure out what this river walk is. And so here's a picture of, um, of the main road. And you can see there's a river going underneath the road. OK. Well, they have these beautiful staircases. And I went down one of these staircases. And lo and behold, there's a whole other world. I mean, that's a good way to describe it, right? There's a whole other world. Up top, there's McDonald's and a couple other chain restaurants, right? Uh, you know, things that where they have a um, Hollywood uh, restaurant, you know, kind of. But down below, there's a whole other world. And here's a map of it, and it goes on for quite a while. I, I found out that I was able to go from my hotel right to the Alamo, which is really close to where my venues were, all on this river walk. And they have these little signs navigating around on how to get from A to B. But here's a picture from the street side looking down. Here's another staircase going down. Here's another view. Not so glorious. Here's the main road, and you can see the river plain, plain enough. And as you walk, there are little fountains. But as you begin to walk, you realize the beauty.
But isn't it, isn't it like beautiful? It's, all, it's not what you would picture in a city, is it? There's a whole city around here. And you know what else is nice? Is when it's kind of hot and muggy, when you go down there, it's like a little bit of air conditioning for you, right? There's the, the shade and the river supplies a little bit of coolness. It's a whole other world. I'm just going to finish up the pictures and here's another waterfall going. So one of the pictures I, I, I did not take, and I, I wanted to, but I didn't catch on to it until it was the day I was leaving, is in this beautiful river. Well, first of all, my mind was going to the scripture of, I have peace like a river. I have peace like a river. And it's a gentle river, isn't it? Right? It's, and it has this kind of nice green look to it. And they keep the area very clean in the morning. They have a little boat that goes through that has hydraulic arms that come out with bags that picks up any garbage. And, and there's a bunch of ducks. I'm going to show you that some other time. But ducks are like um, pigeons there. They're, <laughs> they're always begging off of you uh, when you're eating. But in this, in, not in this area here. This is just nice and calm and beautiful. But near my hotel, I noticed that there was a bridge uh, for the cars. And in this bridge was this huge dam that could come down. It was a lock in case of the river surging. I noticed at my hotel, you can enter on the side. And on it is this huge hydraulic door that can close in case there is a flood. And, this whole, and it has a sign saying, check out all the locks and dams. I, I went for a ways and you could see all this things that they could do in case the river begins to arise that would protect the area. And I think of the scripture, I have peace like a river. And it brings me like to today's message, right? Where, where we, today's, you know, we're in Memorial Day and, and when I have peace like a river, at times in my life, like, like it's calm and it's surreal and it's beautiful, but I wonder what this area looks like when there's a mighty flood going through and they have to put the floodgates down. It's interesting because we, we can sing songs like I have peace like a river, but then I think, like, there's a lot of turmoil in our lives, too. And do I have peace during those times, as well as those times where it's nice and calm? The scripture reading continues today, and I, I left out one section. I just want to do one more version of it. All the people that experienced this moment of experience with God... They were constantly devoting themselves to prayer together with certain women, including Mary and the mother of Jesus, as well as his brother. So what it's saying is, after they had this experience of what, witnessing Jesus ascending, they went off and they remembered that they needed to spend time with God. Now, today is a tough day for many of us as we stop and reflect upon all those people in our lives that have come and gone. I invite you to spend time in the presence of God, in the eternal hope of the resurrection. Okay? But let's face it, today is also a day, or if not today, tomorrow, of, of barbecues, right? Who going into a family gathering? Right? When you, and if you're not going to a family gathering, you're going to be with someone. You're going to be at Walmart. There's a whole gathering there. Yes. <laughs> Enjoy that moment as we remember those that have gone on to glory. Remember that you are blessed to have the person that's next to you, that's with you today. I have peace like a river is a, is a mystery, right? Where, where it, do I have peace when the river's calm? Yes. Do I have peace when the river is really rampant and going and out of control in my life? Maybe not so much. But if we put our faith in God, perhaps we can find a peace in the turmoils of life. May we find the peace in the serenity of life. Find that peace today. Today is a sad day. The Sevillas are going to be representing the church as they go and say uh, final respects to uh, Reverend Chanel. But let us remember the joyous times that we've had with him and with the family. And when I was sharing her story with the flag today, and you can't help but, but feel this yes. blessing and yes. sadness. I invite us today to take a moment and to be truly thankful for those that are in our lives, not only in the past, but in today, the moment. Amen? Amen. Amen.